Kashiba and welcome to Shining Pearl. Yes, ever since I figured out my problem with my uh, capture card, I am now going to be recording a lot of Pokemon and I did say Shining Pearl was going to be one of the games, so I am here with Shining Pearl. And it looks like we're already getting into dialogue and stuff. I just pressed English off camera and we're getting into it. Okay. Hello there. It's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. The nostalgia. The nostalgia. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Alright, um... I think I'm gonna choose the regular Dawn avatar. I know in uh, Diamond I started already. I chose the one with the blonde. But I'm gonna go with the blue hair. And, of course, we're gonna go Kashiba, because that is, in fact, my name. Your name is Kashiba? Absolutely. Okay, so you're Kashiba. A fine name, that is. Now this boy here, I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? Okay. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna do this based off my, um, actual Pearl game. Like, I- Diamond and Pearl were my very first Pokemon games ever. And Pearl was- Pearl was my game. And I believe in Pearl, I named him Hidan. His name was Hidan. And I know why I named him Hidan, because I was obsessed with Hidan at the time. And believe it or not, I mean, y'all don't know this, but I think I've said this on my TikTok. It w it's like, y'all should know, like, Itachi. Itachi is my favorite Akatsuki member of all time and my favorite anime character of all time. However... It was not Itachi that got me into the Akatsuki. It was actually Hidan. Hidan was my favorite for a while. And then came Itachi and I became obsessed with Itachi. So that's where this Hidan thing comes from. And yes, yes, I named him Hidan. Hidan, is it? That's your friend's name? Yep. All right, Kashiba, the time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way, you will discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now go on and leap into the world of Pokemon. Despite the exploration team's best efforts, the rare, oddly colored Pokemon eluded detection. The rumored Red Gyarados failed to appear, even fleetingly to the crestfallen team. That concludes our special report, Search for the Red Gyarados. Do I- wait, I'm trying to remember if I actually got a- shiny Gyarados in this game or if I'm thinking of heart gold I know I remember one of them I had a shiny Gyarados and it was given to me brought to you by Jubilife TV on nationwide net C 
See you next week. Same time, same channel. Nice. Hey, I love the little switch in the corner. That's adorable. Well, I already knew that because I played Brilliant Diamond off camera, so. I don't think they did, like, I don't think they added an original Nintendo DS when they did the original games. I wish they did, it would have been cool. But it's cool they added the Switch. Kashiba, he done came calling for you a while ago. I don't know what it was about, but he said it was an emergency. Holy crap, okay, I cannot come up with good voice impressions today, apparently. But let's go see what he Daniel wants. Oh yes, Kashiba, don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon may attack you. Yes, mother. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so... Alright, Hidaniel, now that I just got screamed at by my mother, where are you? You're in the tall grass, aren't you? Oh, there, wait. Can you step the fuck off? <laughs> I walk so preposterously slow, I hate it. Well, excuse you, sir. Okay, I'm going to try my actual best Hedon impression. But he's a kid, so I don't know if I should actually do a Hedon impression. Okay. Um. What was that about? Oh, hey, Kashiba. I'm going to the lake. You should come too. And be quick about it. Okay, Kashiba, I'm finding you one million Pokemon dollars if you're late. Oh geez, forgot something. <laughs> oh my God, I just came up with the worst voice impression for him. Okay, let's go in his house. Hidania, what did you forget? I'd better take my bag and guidebook too. Oh, hey, Kashiba. We're going to the lake. I'll be waiting on the road. It's a 10 million Pokemon dollar fine if you're late. Jesus Christ, kid, calm down. Okay, I'm coming to the lake with you. Let me walk my slow, stumpy ass to the lake. I'll be right there in like 20 minutes. Oh, there he is. You're not at the lake. Hey, you saw that news report that was on TV, right? You know, search for the Red Gyarados, the mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon in a lake. That show got me to thinking. I'll bet our local lake has a Pokemon like it, like that in it too. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll go find a Pokemon like that. All right, Hidan, let's go. My God, that voice really takes a toll on me. <laughs> okay, Variety Lakefront. All right, to the lake, let's find us a red Gyarados. What's going on? Oh God, okay, I gotta do a voice impression for Lucas. Okay, um, give me a second. Professor, there's nothing out of the ordinary on the other side either. Hmm, I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but fine, it's enough that we have to see in the lake. 
Lucas, we're leaving. Professor, you've been gone for four years now. How are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh? Hmm, there is one thing I can say. There are many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. The region should serve us very well in regard to our studies. Excuse me, let us pass, please. Sorry, folks. Oh god, now I have to remember how I did Ethan's voice. Okay. What was that about, those two? Huh? Kashiba, let's go check this out. What's that? Don't go into the tall grass? No problem, no problem. We won't be in there long enough for a wild Pokemon to come out. It's a briefcase. Those people forgot it here. What are we supposed to do with it? We can try to return it, but who were they? I heard them say Professor. Wah! P Pokemon! What's going on? Look, these are Pokeballs. Let's battle using the Pokemon in them. And I'm going to choose the same partner I chose in Pearl. And I think... Nope, I don't want Torchwig. I want... I want Piplub. That's who I chose in Pearl. All right, Starly, you're going down. Oh, geez, my avatar is in the way. But. Uh, I suppose I should scoop myself over a little bit. A little better, but not really. Considering I cannot see my health bar for the life of me. Be gone, Starly. Why, wow, your Piplup totally rocked. But my Turtwig was way tougher than yours. They were other people's Pokemon. But we had to use them. Those people won't mind, will they? Phew. You found the briefcase. The professor would have gone through the roof if he knew I forgot it here. Huh? What? Did you guys- did you use these Pokemon? Oh man, how am I gonna explain this to the professor? This is the professor's briefcase, so I'll take it, okay? I gave Lucas, like, the most bland voice ever. <laughs> what was that about? I don't know what's going on, Kashiba. Let's get out of here. My Pokemon got hurt from that battle. If we get attacked by another Pokemon, we might be in trouble. You go ahead. I know we have to go return these Pokemon. They're not ours. But I want to spend just a little more time with this little guy. Okay. So wait, I, are we, I think we're going home. I don't think we're going to the professor's lab quite yet. Oh, there they are. 
Hey, it's those people. It's that old guy staring at us. Hmm. I heard from Lucas that you used our Pokemon. Let me see them, please. Hmm. Piplum and Turtwig. Hmm, I see. That's how it is. Lucas, I'm going back to my lab. Uh, yeah, of course. Professor, wait for me. You should visit us at our lab later, I think. We'll be seeing you. What was that all? What was all that craziness about? I mean, if he was angry, he could have just yelled at us or whatever. And then you want his Pokemon back? Kashiba, we should go home too. Oh god, I forgot her voice already. <laughs> What's up, dear? Whoa, I can't believe that happened to you. I'm... Am I ever glad that both you and Hidon are unharmed? The professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Rowan of San Gemtown. I've heard that he is well known for his studies on Pokemon. I hear he's always quite intimidating. Kashiba, I think you need to visit him in San Gemtown. You need to probably... Properly explain why you had no choice but to use his Pokemon. Don't worry, I'm sure he will understand. Oh, I know. Kashiba, put these on. Yay! I'm not gonna walk like a fucking slowpoke anymore. Going to San Jim Town is like an adventure in itself, right? With those running shoes, you can get to faraway places much faster. Yay! I'm tired of being a slug! Okay, let me read the instructions. I don't need a ma'am or mom. <laughs> Tilt the left stick firmly and dash out faster than ever before. Put on the running shoes and blaze new trails on adventure. Well, isn't that just nifty? I didn't think. We needed a manual for frickin' shoes, but okay. Okay. Let's go to Sand Gem Town. You coming with, Hedon? Or am I meeting you there? I assume I am meeting you there. And I, oh yeah, I can't catch anything. Not until. I talked to the professor and Lucas. I mean, I could level up my Peplum or I could just run away. I'm gonna just run away for the time being until I get to San Gem Town. Oh, it's Lucas. Hi, I've been waiting for you. Please come with me. The prof's waiting to see you. See, this is our Pokemon research lab. We'll just go ahead and... Hidon, oh my god. What the? Oh, it's you, Kashiba. That old guy, he's not scary so much as he is totally out there. Uh, it doesn't matter, Kashiba. I'm out of here. See you later. What was that? Your friend always seems to be in such a rush. Anyway, let's go in. Finally! You've come, Kashiba, was it? Let me see that Pokemon again. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alrighty then, I'll give that Piplup to you as a gift. Now that it's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? Yes. 
Oh, it's a female Piplub. So I can't name it Kisami like I did in Pearl. So instead, I am going to name it Juvia. Because that would be my choice for a female water type. Hmm, okay, I see. And you're happy with that nickname? Uh, of course I am. Your friend Hidon told me what happened at the lake. I heard you battled very well, despite it being your first time. And from what I can see, there is a growing bond between you and that Pokemon, though it. Though it. Though it is still young. That's why I would like to entrust you with Piplub. Am I ever glad you're kind towards Pokemon? If you weren't, well, I don't even want to think about it. Ahem! Let's move on to the main topic. There is something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want you to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokédex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokédex. Will you use it to record data on all the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? Sure. Hmm. <laughs> Good answer. That Pokédex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokémon you encounter. Kashiva, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokémon in this region. I've got the same kind of Pokédex as you do. When you walked up Route 201 with your Pokémon, what did you feel? I've lived for 60 long years! Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now, you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means that there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go! Kashiva, your grand adventure begins now. The professor asked me to help, so I'm going to go all and fill the Pokedex pages too. That makes us comrades working toward the same goal. I'll teach you stuff later, okay? Great! Fantastic! Now I would really like some Pokeballs so I could start making a team. Now I do not remember- oh. Hey Kashiba, I want to show you a few things. So follow me. This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. You can get your Pokemon healed if it's been hurt in battle. You'll find a Pokemon Center in most towns. Over here, the building with the blue roof is the Pokemart. It's a shop where you can buy and sell all sorts of items. Kashiva, since you're a rookie trainer, you won't be able to buy very much stuff. Don't worry about it, okay? Oh yeah, right, Kashiba. You should let your family know you're helping Professor Rowan put his Pokédex, put together his Pokédex. You may have to travel pretty far, so you should let someone know. Oh, but first, go heal up your Pokémon at the Pokémon Center. You'll be safe then, okay? Be seeing you. Now, as I was saying before I was really interrupted by Lucas, I don't quite remember my Pearl team. I only remember a few. Like, I remember Piplub. I remember having a, a Budu or a Rose Raid. And I remember having a Luxray. And I know I had a Fire-type Pokemon, but I don't remember what it was. And I'm trying to think of like what the other two could possibly be. I think one was either a psychic or a bug type. Um, or maybe a dark type. 
I don't remember. Um, but I remember having a Piplub or an Empoleon. I remember having Empoleon, Luxray, and Roserade. I definitely remember those. <sighs> I bet if I could look at the Synodex, the complete Synodex, then I could probably remember what my team was. Who knows, even with that, I probably won't. I don't know. Are you gonna challenge me to a battle? Actually, I wanna go in the grass. I wanna start a team. Well, I definitely know Bidoof was not a part of the team. But I am here to catch you. Wait, can I? I should be able to. Yeah, yeah, X button, let's go. See, I can catch Pokemon before you can teach me, Lucas. I'm smart. I am very smart. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna play nickname all my Pokemon like I used to. Like, I'm probably only gonna nickname the ones that I know are going to be on my team. So, um, I guess we can play nickname all the Pokemon. Let's see, Bidoof is a boy. What would be a good name for a Bidoof? Um, his name will be Chuck. I am going to name you Chuck. Because I don't know what else to name you. I know I will not... I will never use you once I actually start building a team. All right, mom, I'm going on an adventure. I'm leaving forever, okay? Can I get in the house so I can tell mom thanks? Welcome home, Kashiba. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? Take a quick rest, dear. What's up, Kashiba? Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big? Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know, Kashiba. I got something that you'll find useful. That's a guidebook. Take a look at it when you are curious about something or have questions. During your adventure, you may find an answer. Gee, a journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. I'm just joking, Kashiba. I was like, wow, Mom, you're not gonna let me have this? I'll be alright by myself, dear, so you go and enjoy your adventure. When you're exposed to new things and experience new sensations, it makes your mother happy too. But please come back sometimes. I would like to see the kinds of Pokemon you caught, dear. Excuse me, is my little Hidan here? Oh no, he's not. Oh, then he must have left already. What to do? That boy shouted about going on an adventure, then he bolted. He's so headstrong and reckless, I at least wanted him to take his... Not to worry, Kashiba will deliver that to him. Won't you, Kashiba? Oh, really? You do that for me? Kashiba, please take this to Hidan for me. Bye-bye, Kashiba. Enjoy your adventure. 
Well, let me think. Knowing my boy, he would probably head straight to Jube Life City. Okay, please take that to my Hidong. Yes, I will deliver whatever the hell that was to Hidon. Yes, Mom, that hat does suit me very well. Thank you. All right, time to catch some Pokemon and go to Jube Life City. Oh, look, a Starly! Yay! Time to pound you. That sounds wrong. And put you on my team, but mm, that sounded so wrong. Oh no, it growled at me. Whatever shall I do? Get caught, bitch. All right, what do we want to name the Starly, folks? It is a boy. It is a boy bird. Um thinking of boy bird names. I know Mordecai is technically a blue a blue jay, but I am going to name you Mordecai. If I can remember how to spell Mordecai. It's like M O R D E C A I, I think. It's probably wrong. But your name is Mordecai. I named him Mordecai because I know I'll never use him. Okay. And I know Lucas probably wants to show me how to catch Pokemon, even though I just caught two more Pokemon. So go ahead and show me, Lucas. There you are. Toshiba, do you know how to catch a Pokemon? Well, yes, considering I caught a Bidoof and a Starly already. I'll demonstrate how to catch one, so just watch, okay? Don't really need to. And that's how it's done. Actually, I should have lowered the target's HP some more. Yep, the important thing is to lower the Pokemon's HP as much as possible. See, a healthy Pokemon isn't easy to catch. I will fight you on that, dude. <laughs> Oh yeah, they also get easier to catch if you make one of your Pokemon put them to sleep. Or such. Here, Kashiba, I'll give you some Pokeballs to get you started. I already bought some, dude, but I'll take more. If you have lots of Pokemon with you, you'll be able to travel farther. That way, you'll have a better shot at meeting more Pokemon. See you around. Alright, to Jube Life City now. And yes, you guys won't be seeing the tutorial. Because nothing need- Oh yeah, we're gonna get into our first Pokemon battle with little Timmy over here. I'm not doing voices for these. So you're out of luck. I'm only voicing the main characters. Only because I've already been turning my VTube avatar on and off throughout this entire video and I'm sick of it, so I am only doing voices for main characters. Can I learn a water type move already? Holy crap, your Starly is level 5. I don't like that. I don't like that. Your Starly is too powerful. Well, it's the same level as me. It's really not, but whatever. Get pounded.
This, this is gonna take forever. This is the most tedious thing ever and I can barely see my frickin' health bar. I can't tell if I'm yellow or red. I just want to kill this thing. You know what? I'm gonna trade. Oh god, they're both level 2. Okay, that's great. Well, um... I don't think I have any potions. No, nope, I just have a bunch of Pokeballs. Well, that was smart of me, huh? I'm probably F. That probably goes my Peplum. Oh, no, I'm still alive. Surprisingly. And, of course, I never healed my other Pokemon. So, it's great. I need to go back to Sand Gem Town after this. Yep, I'm done. <laughs> Wait, I'm not? Huh? It survived? Okay, well, I still need to go back to Sand Gem Town. Water type move? Yay, water gun! Chalk grew to level three. But nothing for Mordecai. Okay, well, I need to go back to San Gem Town really quick. I probably should have done this before I stepped onto Route 202, but whatever. I am also going to buy some potions before I continue forward. Just in case that happens again. You know, I don't remember it being that hard when I first played. Like, I got through it like it was nothing. I don't know, maybe my Piplup was a higher level before I challenged them. Oh yay, Shinx! Great! That's what I need! Because I had a Luxray. So you were definitely going to nickname something important. Uh-oh. That's okay. I'm catching you anyway. Hopefully you just get in the Pokeball. Okay, good. Thank God. Because I don't want to deal with another Thundershock. And you'll be useful. Wow, Juvia is level 7. Yay. Chuck is level 4 and Mordecai is level 3. Okay, I think I am going to name my Shinx. I don't remember what I named my Shinx. Because I don't think I knew Fairy Tale back then. So I don't know what I named my Shinx, but I am going to nickname him Laxus because I know he's electric. Oh, we got a battle little Sarah now. Oh no, a bee doof, whatever shall I do? Oh, it's a level three. Well, you ain't gonna be as strong as little Timmy. So take this water gun to the face. Oh no, I killed your Bidoo. What are you going to do? Oh, she has another Bidoo. I might actually battle it with my Shinx. Hang on. 
Because it's got Thundershock, and I know Bidoof is somewhat water. I want to get Shinx up there, because I know I had a Luxray on my team. I don't know if I remembered what I used Luxray against. But I know I had a Luxray. Because if I'm thinking about the types, the first gym is Rock, which Piplove will be good for. The second is Grass, which whichever fire type Pokemon I pick will definitely be effective. Um, third is Fighting, which I would need Psychic or Bug. Fourth is Water, so Shinx, okay, so Shinx would be, or Luxray would be effective there, okay. Fifth is Ghost. So I think I need a dark type Pokemon. Six is steel, which my choice of fire. Seven is ice, which my choice of fire. And then eight is electric. Um, I forget what is strong against electric type. And I know Volkner doesn't have like all complete electric types like there's some weird shit like i think he has an octillery that owns like electric type moves which octillery is a water type okay anyway um back on the adventure no god i gotta battle another little timmy no no more no more all right little timmy let's go Oh, I'm sorry, your name is Logan. My bad. Ah, of course, it's a Shanx. Great. So my Piplup is not going to be effective. Because water is weak against electric. And it's a level 5. Uh, I ain't got the team for this. I know Mordecai is going to be useless because electric is strong and flying. God. Okay, well, I bought potions. So we'll do Shinx versus Shinx, I guess. The better Shinx wins. Yeah, that ain't gonna work so much on my Shinx there, pal. And this is why I bought potions. Here you go, Laxus. I know you guys can't see my health bar, but I made it so I can. I was at like 3 HP. I think Leer lowers the defense, so I'm gonna hit it with a Leer. Good, okay, okay, so that's gonna make it easier to hit. Please tell me that Shanks is the only thing you have. Okay, I see you have one Pokeball up in the corner. So take this tackle and go. That's better. Okay, so he's gonna double leer me, but I'm just gonna hit it with one more tackle and call it good. There we go. That was annoying, just like that other battle with other little Timmy. Which was a level 5 Starly, I think it was. Yay, Chuck learned Defense Curl, awesome! Oh, Mordecai grew to level 5! What did you learn, Mordecai? You learned Quick Attack! Great! Juvia grew to level 8! What did you learn? Nothing. 
Yeah, go cry about it, Logan. I don't care. I already have a Starly, but I'm gonna take the XP, so I am going to knock you out. With my water gun, squirt gun! Goodbye! Even though you probably won't give me very much XP, but let's go with it. All right, we're in Jubilife City. Hey, Kashiba, how many Pokemon have you caught? Whoa, you already have four Pokemon with you? In Jubilife City, there's the trainer school. Check it out. Oh yeah, Hidon went to the trainer school earlier. Okay, see you around. Work hard on your Pokedex. Alright, so I made it to Jube Life City, so I think I'm going to end this video here. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more Pokemon. Yeah, for more Pokemon. Also, follow me on Twitter at KashibaGamerGirl and on TikTok at KashibaChan. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye <laughs>